Why, hello there, I am Travis and I am going to be your tour guide into the wonderful, wonderful wide world wide thing of friends. Here's some random facts that you didn't know if you lived under a rock. It went on for 10 seasons, went on for 236 episodes. Yes, each episode ranged from 22 minutes to 65 minutes. It was created by David Crane and Marta Kaufman. Yes, a lot of it. It's a multicam show, so it was shot for around, took about six to eight hours of filming. They would go in front of a live audience and they would do all these jokes. And if they didn't land or if something wasn't right, they would rewrite it and they would tell the guest star, whoever that was, and they would just keep doing the scene again so they'd have guinea pigs on the set in Burbank, California is where it was shot. So, um, yes, I, I'm trying to remember more. Oh, hi! How are ya? I'm Travis, and I'm gonna be your tour guide, and I'm gonna be giving you all the information on the wonderful World Wide Web of Friends in this Thanksgiving Friendsgiving live stream. Join me! Can you dream it? Yes, you can. Friends giving live stream. I am your tour guide, Travis, and I'm going to be giving you all the wonderful facts that you wouldn't know in case you lived under a rock about friends. And just so you know, it didn't shoot in New York. You're welcome. One, two, three? No? No? That's not where the friends shot. They didn't go one, two, three. Friends filmed at stage Four and twenty-four, yes, in Burbank, California. Did you know that? No, you didn't, because I just told you it. You're welcome. Come here. Come on in. I'm your tour guide, Travis, and I'm going to tell you all things friends. Yes, friends facts. Stuff that friends did. I'm not going to talk about my friends. We're going to talk about the show friends on this Friendsgiving live stream. You're welcome. No, it's not Joey. This is Travis from the tour department about to tell you, let's go see some bloopers before the Friendsgiving live stream. Hello, I'm back. I'm Travis, the tour guide, and we're about to show you some bloopers. Yes, we're not perfect, but at least you'll see us be imperfect again. Hello and welcome back. I'm Travis, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching me tell you everything that you needed to know. And now, I'm going to give you something. The Friendsgiving live stream, where you get to see me and other fantastic performers. So come on down and see the stream. Why, hello there. And welcome to a very special edition of Thought of Light. I'm Professor Edgerton. We're saying hello to you goats. I'm Professor Edgerton from What's It To You University. And I'm here to discuss goats. You see them. You've seen them on TV shows. Like, hey man, where's my goat? Have a goat, have a party. Goating around. Goats. This is Professor Edgerton saying, I'm going to go to a zoo. And pet the goat. Vess Edgerton signing Hello. off. Have Thank you for joining us for Friendsgiving. We're going to be performing a total of 10 Friends episodes, a total of 220 running minutes in 45 minutes. Before we get started, please welcome our cast. We've got Pamela Morris, Monica Geller, Ben Billen as Ross Geller, Adelaide Evans as Rachel Green, Trevor Wagner as Chandler Bing, Jillian Smith as Phoebe Buffet, Adam Alamo as Joey Triviani. As Mr. Geller, Kathy, and Will. And I'll be playing Amy, Dutch Woman, and Mrs. Geller, in addition to narrating my favorite show of all time. Now, let's start the clock. Season 1, Episode 9, The One Where Underdog Gets Away. Did you know Mom and Dad are going to Puerto Rico for Thanksgiving? You're wrong. I'm not wrong. 
Pardon me. As of today, I am officially Joey Tribbiani, actor slash model. Oh, You're right. Hey. How could they do this to us? How about <laughs> How about I cook us a dinner, just like at mom's? cheese and a family-sized bag of Funyuns. What is it with you in this holiday? All right, so I'm nine years old. Not this story. <laughs> we had this magnificent pumpkin pie, and this, and this is the minute my parents chose to tell me that they're getting divorced. Uh. It's difficult to enjoy Thanksgiving when you've seen it in reverse. Thanksgiving, my entire family thinks I have. Five hours from now, me, shoop, shoop, shoop. Monica, I don't see any tater tots. It's bad enough I can't be with my family because of my disease. All right, fine. Tonight's potatoes will be mashed in the form of lumps and also in the form of tots. All done. Did you whip the potatoes? Ross needs lumps! I thought we could have them whipped and then add some peas and onions, because they'd be just like my mom used to make them before she died. <laughs> okay, three kinds of potatoes coming up. Chandler tells the gang that one of the Macy's balloons <laughs> is, is blown away. It's, they go to look at it and then they return to the apartment, but the door is locked. When we left the apartment, you said, Got the keys? No, I didn't. I said, got the keys? <laughs> Isn't it enough I'm making Thanksgiving dinner for everyone? Everyone wants a different kind of potato. Does anyone care what kind of potato I want? No, no, no. Ugh. Potatoes are ruined. Potatoes are ruined. Potatoes are ruined. This doesn't smell like mom's. This is great. This plane is gone, so I'm stuck here with you guys. Hey, this was nobody's first choice. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 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 Now this really feels like Thanksgiving. Everyone was having a really bad time until Phoebe looked out the window. Ew! Ugly naked guy is having Thanksgiving with ugly naked girl. <gasps> oh. I know this isn't a Thanksgiving you planned, but this has really been great. I'm very thankful that all of your Thanksgiving sucked. Here's to a lousy Christmas. And a crappy New Year. All right, season two, episode eight, the one with the Liz. Rachel and Ross kiss, but Ross is having second thoughts. Uh, I've been drugged. <laughs> I've been dreaming about me and Rachel for 10 years, but now I'm with Julie. Me and Julie, me and Rachel. This is a song about a love triangle between three people that I made up. It's called, Two of Them Kiss Last Night. There was a girl, let's call her Betty. There was a guy, let's call him Neil. I can't stress this point too strongly. This story isn't real. He must decide, he must decide, he must decide, he must decide. Okay, I got it. Pros <laughs> and cons. We'll start with the cons, because they're funner. Rachel first. 
Well, Rachel's a little spoiled sometimes, a little ditzy, too into her looks. Julie and I, we have a lot in common, but Rachel's just a waitress. All right, let's do Julie. What's wrong with her? She's not Rachel. Mm. I know what I need to do. I know you come back. <laughs> How'd it go with Julie? Did you break her heart? Uh, it was horrible. She cried. She threw things, they hit me. <laughs> uh, I just got back from, I just got back from Julie's. It's, all, it's, all, it's always been you, Rach. Aww. 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 Uh, what's that, Ross? Ross Chandler wrote something about me on his computer and he won't let me see. Uh, isn't that the uh, short story you were writing? Yes, it is. Let me read it. No! <laughs> why, why don't you read it to her? All right. Uh, it was summer. It was hot. Rachel was there. A lonely goat. You're the worst writer ever. I want to see it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I want to see it. Ross, what is this? Spoiled, just, just a waitress? Uh, come on, Rach, you, you gotta give me another chance. If things were the other way around, there's nothing you could put on that list that would make me not want to be with you. I guess that's the difference between us. I would never make a list. How long are we supposed to wait in moments like this before we can say something? Maybe a minute more. This next song is dedicated to Rachel from Ross. Rachel, he wants you to know he's deeply sorry and hopes you can find it in your heart to forgive him. the phone with Rachel and she told us what Ross did. Ross, if you're listening, I don't want to play your song anymore. Alright, season three, episode nine, the one with the football. The game decides to play a game of football while the turkey goes. Buddy! Buddy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like Ross and I are captains, so I picked Joey. Monica! Don't worry, you'll get picked. Uh, <laughs> Chandler. <laughs> Phoebe. Huh? Oh, cool. My first huddle. So what do you guys really think of Chandler? The game plays football. Joey scores. Chandler throws the ball to Rachel. She does not catch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I almost got that one. Right, you go long. How long? Until we seem very small. Okay, got it. <laughs> You're playing American football? I'm Dutch. I'm Joey. Hi, I'm Chandler. Come on, guys! Second down! Uh, hello? It's the third down. No, it's not. It's second. It amazes me you're still pulling stuff like this. Okay, it's the second down. I was thinking of asking her for her number. Hey, man, if it means that much to you, I'll let you have her. Like, if you didn't, I wouldn't have a shot? Hey, don't feel bad, man. We all have our strengths. You're better with numbers and stuff. Tight score! Forget about it! Go for the girl! We'll see who gets her. Tight score! Let's go! Monica throws to Phoebe. She catches it and makes a touchdown! That was my first touchdown! Uh, that's great. Doesn't count. That's so! Uh, cheater, cheater, compulsive eater. It's no surprise you're winning. You picked first and you had the better team. You're so pathetic. Why can't you accept that we are winning because I'm better than you? Oh. I'll trade you, Joey, for Rachel, and I'll still win the game. Unless you're afraid you'll lose to a bunch of girls. I can't believe you're trading me. <laughs> hey, Joey, where are Dutch people from? Some, uh, somewhere in the Netherlands, right? Uh, nice try. The Netherlands is this make-believe place where Peter Pan and Tinkerbell come from. Uh, Dutch lady, let's just cut to the chase. Which of my boys do you like? Chandler. Hear that, mister? I'll let you have her. I win! You suck! I would like to change my answer to no one. <laughs> come on, come on, we're losing! Phoebe flashes Chandler as he's running with the ball and then takes it from him. 
Rachel jumps on Joey's back. Back. <laughs> Guys, it's Thanksgiving. It doesn't matter who wins or loses. What matters is the Dutch girl picked me. Me, not you. Season four, episode eight, the one with Chandler in a box. Joey isn't talking to Chandler because his girlfriend Kathy cheated on him with Chandler. Monica got ice in her eye. I don't want to live with somebody who doesn't know what it means to be a friend. Remember when that guy was robbing us and locked? It? <laughs> Remember when that guy was locked, was robbing us, and I was locked in the entertainment system for six hours? You know what I was doing in there all that time? I was thinking about how I let you down. There has to be something I can do. If we still had the entertainment unit, I would get in there for six hours and think about how I let you down. We got a box. Monica's ex-boyfriend Richard is her eye doctor, so she's reluctant to see him, but it turns out the on-call doctor is his son, who's hot. You're gonna have to wear a patch for a couple days. Big family dinner tonight? I was gonna have Thanksgiving at my girlfriend's. Oh. But then we broke up. Oh. She wasn't ready for a serious commitment. Oh. So you made her walk the plank, eh, matey? You're not wearing the eye patch yet. <laughs> Sounds like a really bad idea to me. Fine, judge all you want to, but married a lesbian, left a man at the altar, fell in love with a gay ice dancer, threw a girl's wooden leg in the fire, live in a box. <laughs> what exactly is the point of the box? The meaning of the box is threefold. One, gives me time to think about what you did. Two, it shows how much I care about Joey. And three, it hurts. Ha! Gotcha! If this is a big joke to you, then forget about it. If it doesn't mean anything to you, you should get out. Because otherwise, you're just an idiot in a box. You're, <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. I want you to be my friend again. I swear I won't say another word tonight. <laughs> I thought it was going to be weird, but this isn't. Me and your dad, it's like a totally separate thing. What? It didn't remind you of? Don't say it! But it did, didn't it? Uh, yes! Uh! <laughs> Oi. Chandler, listen. I don't want to be someone who comes between two frat best friends. I think this could have been something amazing, but it's for the best. But I'm going to miss you. Aww. Open the box. We're going to be fine. You need some real good thinking in there. Go, you can still catch her. All right. Season five, episode eight, the one with the Thanksgiving flashbacks. I'm thankful for this beautiful fall weather we're ha we've been having. The other day, this lovely fall breeze came and blew this chick's skirt right out. Which reminds me, I'm also thankful for thongs. I don't know what I'm more thankful for, my divorce or my eviction. I am the king of bad thanksgivings. You're not going to tell the story again, are you? Ugh. I know Monica's worst thanksgiving. It's the one where Joey got Monica's turkey stuck on his head. Flashback to last year's Thanksgiving. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm stuck! I put it on to scare Chandler. Uh oh, Monica? Hey, did you get the turkey? Oh my god! Who is that? It's Joey! <laughs>
flashback to Thanksgiving 1987. Now, I know our friends at home who've seen this show a million times know exactly where this is headed. Monica used to be fat. Yep, isn't that hilarious? I used to weigh more than I once did. Now that's comedy. Yeah, it is. Anyway, here's Monica in high school. Great, you should be a chef. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of asking Rachel out tonight. Maybe playing her that song we wrote for her. Emotional knapsack? <laughs> right on. I just don't want to be stuck here all night with your fat sister. Aww. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was an idiot back then. Actually, that's not the Thanksgiving I was talking about. Flashback to Thanksgiving 1988. Hi, Chandler. Oh, what's the matter? Is something wrong with my dress? Ah, oh, you totally got him back for calling you fat. I know, I look good, I feel good, but ugh, I just want to humiliate him. Rachel and Monica decide that Monica is going to trick Chandler into thinking she wants to have sex with him. Just act like everything around you turns you on. Anything can be sexy, like this dish towel. Ooh, this feels so good. So good against my cheek. Or, um, I could rub it through my fingers. See? Okay. Okay. He's coming. Monica, I was wondering if you could make me some of that righteous mac and cheese like last year. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> oh, I love mac and cheese. Love, love, love the way it feels on my cheek. And these carrots. I like to put them between my fingers. And if I'm feeling really hot, I like to pick up this knife and put the cold steel against my skin. Are you all right? <gasps> That's right, Monica cut off Chandler's toe. I lost my toe because I called you fat? It was an Oh. <laughs> Look, Monica. Wait. <laughs> So great! I love you! What? You love me? No, I didn't! Yes, you did! You love me! Oh. <laughs> Season 6, Episode 9, The One Where Ross Get Tied! That would be great. I'm thinking dinner at four. Why can't I tell them? Because they don't know we're dating. They don't like you. <laughs> It'll be okay. When they come over, I will make them fall in love with me. For dessert, I'll be making a traditional English trifle. Happy Thanksgiving! Well, this has been great. See ya! Uh, we did say we'd, be, we'd stop by this thing Joey's roommate is having. Uh, your hot, re really hot dancer roommate? 
Yes, all right. All of her really hot dancer friends are going to be there. It's just like the first Thanksgiving when the Indians and the Pilgrims sat down to dinner. Yeah, and the Indians and the Pilgrims taught or the Indians taught the Pilgrims what it meant to be hot in the New World. <laughs> oh, Mr. and Mrs. Geller, it's great to have you. It's no one out there? No. <laughs> I just remembered I had a dream about Mr. Geller last night. He saved me from a burning building and was so sh brave and strong. It's making me look at him totally differently. Will you, will you serve the dessert already? Isn't it beautiful? It's got all the layers. A lady, <laughs> a layer of lady fingers, jam, custard I made from scratch, strawberries, more lady fingers than beef sauteed with peas and onions, more custard than bananas and whipped cream on top. What was the one before the bananas? The beef? Yeah, that was that was weird to me too, but um, there's mincemeat pie. That's an English dessert. Uh, these people put very strange things in their food. Do you boys want to sneak a taste? <laughs> the pages are stuck together. She had half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. Now she's going to want to start over. We're never going to get to introduce the, the hot girls to the new world. We just won't tell her she messed up. Uh, I think he's stoned again. Uh, hey, Chandler? Yeah, hey, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I, know why, I think I know why my parents don't like you. Spring break, sophomore year, I got high in my bedroom, and my parents walked in and smelled it, and so I told them you had gotten stoned and jumped out the window. Mom sent me over to find out if you were trying to get Ross stoned. Your parents caught Ross smoking pot, and he blamed it on me. The reason we haven't told them we're together is because they hate me. Can we fix this? Okay, uh, I'll tell them it wasn't Chandler who got me who got who got me high. Who got high? Uh, who should I say it was? You. All right, all right. Who should I take trick me into doing it? Rachel, she messed up the dessert. Uh, what's with everybody? It's Thanksgiving, not truth day. We'll just get everyone to act like they like it. Hey, Rach, can I talk to you outside? Go, go. So, Thanksgiving. <laughs> but the holiday season is upon us. No, 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 Ross. Um, don't do this. I, I just don't think us getting back together is the best idea. <laughs> oh, well, uh, can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> So if anyone needs help pretending to like it, I learned some things in acting class. Try rubbing your stomach and saying, mmm. Okay, everybody, it's trifle time. Mm. <laughs> this is so good, I'm gonna enjoy it on the balcony so I can enjoy the view whilst I enjoy dessert. Let me try it. No. No. Hold on. Hold on. It's so good. <laughs> Tastes like nothing. Go, <laughs> go, Rachel. <laughs> Tastes like feet. I like it. Custard? Good. Jam? Good. Beef? Good. <laughs> What? You are such a tattletale! Uh, remember that time you walked in my room and smelled marijuana? I told you it was Chandler, but it was me. And Dad, that mailman that got you got fired, he didn't steal your Playboys, Ross did! <laughs> Hurricane Gloria didn't break the port swing, Monica did! Ross hasn't worked at the museum in a year! Monica and Chandler are living together. <gasps> Ross married Rachel in Vegas and got divorced again! I love Jacques Cousteau! I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't supposed to put beef in the trifle. I wanna go! That's a lot of information to get in 30 seconds. Joey, if you wanna leave, just leave. 
Rachel, no, you weren't supposed to put beef in the trifle. It did not taste good. Phoebe, I'm sorry, but Jacques Cousteau is dead. Monica, why you had to hide that you're an important relationship is beyond me. And Ross, drugs, divorced, again. Uh, what happened, son? I got tricked into all of those things. <laughs> Chandler, you've stuck by Ross during the drug problem, and now you've taken on Monica as well. You're a wonderful human being. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, season seven, episode eight, the one where Chandler doesn't like dogs. have to name all the states in six minutes. Say hello to the new champ of Chandler's Dumb States game. How many did you get? 56. Uh, <laughs> I hate to, uh, there we go. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to lecture you guys, but it's disgraceful for a group of well-educated adults and Joey can't name all the states. You ever see a map or one of those things called a globe? Uh, Magellan, you got 46 states. Yeah, who's well-educated now, Mr. I Forgot 10 States? <laughs> I bet I can get all 50 before dinner. But if you can't, no dinner, you're on. Ross, I'm gonna use your oven. Chandler, give me a hand. Okay. I'm gonna take a walk. Why is your bag moving? It's my knitting, that's all. Aww. Yes, I knit this. <laughs> anymore. Either the dog go goes or I go. Oh my god! Aww. Please don't leave me. We'll be lonely. If you want, we could sneak her back in. I had that dog for three days. Chandler had no idea. He's not so smart. Oh, wash your hands! How did you know? We have to keep Chandler away from my bedroom. Where's Monica? Uh, in Phoebe's room. You can't go in there. Uh, Monica's crying. Uh, she's very upset about this clunkers thing. She doesn't want to see you now. You sent the dog away. When Monica and I were kids, we had a dog named uh, Rover. And one day our dad decides he doesn't like dogs and takes him away. This is just like that, only with you know a few details changed. Bring the dog back, you're a hero. What if it attacks me? It's like a big gerbil. And that doesn't scare you? Look who's here! Chandler went over to Ross to bring the dog back! Oh no! The dog's not going to be there! Hey, please don't make him mad at me. I went over to bring back clunkers, you know, for you. Mm -hmm. And I left the door open and she must have gotten out. 
I looked everywhere. FYI, Ross, one of your neighbors, growing weed. Uh, but I am so, so, so sorry. But I do know where we can all go to ease the pain. We have good news. Look who's back. She came back all by herself. It's a Thanksgiving miracle. Oh, the thing she must have seen. She climbed up the fire escape, tapped on the window with her teeny paw. I went too far, didn't I? <laughs> when should I have stopped? Five hours later. Delaware, I want my turkey now. You got Nevada twice. I know. Season 8, Episode 9, The One with the Rumors. Just so you know, I'm not going to make a turkey this year. It doesn't make sense to make a whole turkey just for three people. Thanksgiving with no turkey is like... Fourth of July with no apple pie. Or Friday with no three pizzas. There's gonna be a ton left over. No, there won't. I promise I will finish that turkey. I'm a Tribbiani and this is what we do. We may not be great thinkers or world leaders. We don't read a lot or run very fast, but damn it, we can eat. Monica and Ross's friend Will from high school joins them for Thanksgiving dinner. Pounds, I'm gonna be in one of those subway commercials. Wow! Ross is coming and Rachel Green too. Oh. Is there a problem? It's just. God, I hate her. <laughs> she was horrible to me in high school, but hey, that, that was a long time ago. It might be actually fun to see her. Got any cakes or cookies? No, Will. No! What are you doing? You got an entire turkey to eat. Let me explain to you how the human body works. Eating chips is like stretching. Tribbiani's never get full. Uh, I'm here to tell you something, friend. You can eat and eat, but nothing will ever fill that void. Who the hell is this guy? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've seen you since Lance Davis's graduation party. <laughs> oh, that was a fun night, right? That was a fun night. It would have been good if we'd gotten in, but still, real fun. <laughs> we were lame back then. Remember how into dinosaurs we were? Oh. So, uh, what do you do now? Ross is a paleontologist. <laughs> yeah. Rachel <laughs> Green. Oh, I hate her, Ross. Look at her. Standing there with those yams. My two greatest enemies, Rachel Green and complex carbohydrates. Wow, he's really got that sexy smoldering thing going on. Look at him, he's just staring at me. <laughs> I think he's trying to mouth something to me, but I can't make it out. Hi, I'm Rachel Green. Oh. I remember you. Oh, really? Are you sweet? <laughs> I think I remember you. Um, did we fool around at Lance Davis' graduation party? <laughs> Let's see! Who would like some yams? Will? Uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Typical Rachel Green does whatever she wants in her little Rachel land. Um, do you have a problem with me? Oh, no, I don't, I don't. Uh, do I? Do I? I think you do. You made my life miserable. Screw it. Bring on the yams. I'm really sorry for whatever I did to you. We had a club. The I Hate Rachel Green Club. You all just joined to hate me? What else? Who else was in this club? Me and Ross. <laughs> we went out for two years, and you never told me. You went out with her? We had a pact! It's not like it's binding forever. Then why did it have to have the word eternity in it? Uh, the only reason I joined, co-found, co uh, was that I was insanely in love with you. So you just get together and say mean things about me. We started a rumor. A it's no big deal. The rumor was, uh, the rumor was that you had both uh, male and female uh, reproductive parts. We said your parents flipped a coin and decided to raise you as a girl. You stole.
started that? You heard that? Of course, everyone at her school did. Everyone at my school heard it. You were the hermaphrodite cheerleader from Long Island? <laughs> oh no. Joey, stop staring. There's nothing there. It's not true. I just want to point out, I never did anything to hurt you in high school. Well, that's not true. You did start a rumor about Ross making out with Mrs. Altman, our 50-year-old librarian. How do you know that? <laughs> when you were in high school, you made out with a 50-year-old librarian? She didn't look 50. Did she look 16? I can't believe you told everyone. I'm back to the club. Uh, this stuff is way in the past, and you guys have so much more important stuff going on in your lives now. Can't we all just put this behind us? Uh, we are having a baby together. Whoa, hold on! <laughs> Season 9, Episode 8, the one with Rachel's other sister. Monica and Chandler. Oh. I'm so moved. I don't believe this. We're a lot closer with Monica and Chandler, and you don't seem very connected to the baby. Connected? I mean, to what? She's a love. This means so, excuse me, this means so much that you would trust me with your child. I've had my doubts about my skills as a father, but that you two, <laughs> that you two. This guy? Monica is Ross's sister. No, Ross's sister was fat. That's me. No, she was this really dorky girl in high school. She used to follow Rachel around like a puppy dog. Amy, you've got to stop doing that. <laughs> okay, if you guys die and the crazy plate lady dies, then do I get the baby? If the crazy plate lady, Monica, dies, then I would get Emma, right? In that case... <laughs> In that case, Emma would go to my parents. Hurts, doesn't it? Who has to die for me to get her? I'm not good enough to raise Emma because I managed to survive whatever it is that killed the three of you. It's just, you're more of the fun parent. And we want to make sure Emma also has someone like Monica. A disciplinarian, firm, strict. That's not how you see me, is it? No, you're all about the fun. You're strongest together. If I die, you don't get Joey. <laughs> Your baby isn't even that cute. <gasps> Hold the baby. Okay. <laughs> Take it back. No! Chandler, get out of the way. Put the plates back in the boxes! Forget the bubble wrap! We don't have time! Should <laughs> we stop this? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Let's throw jello on them! <laughs> If you can't act your age, you shouldn't be here at all. Those plates may not be as nice as the pretty pink ones that I picked out, but they're very important to Monica. I want you to apologize to her right now. Sorry. Now I want you two to apologize to each other. Sorry. Well done. You know what? If I die, and Rachel dies, and Monica dies, you can totally take care of Emma. 
Thanks. Uh, so now do I get Joey? Okay, but you should know that he eats five times a day and shoves pennies up his nose. Uh. We don't feel like we can host Thanksgiving this year. We don't think it's fair that every year the burden falls on us. That's Monica putting words in your mouth. You don't put words in people's mouth, you put turkey in people's mouths. I think it's great you're giving yourself a break. Last year wasn't very good. I think she's losing her touch. What? Why don't you cook Thanksgiving dinner and prove me wrong? You'd be trying to top what you did last year. You'd be in competition with yourself. That's my favorite kind! Okay, we're doing this. Don't let yourself get manipulated. Stay out of this, Taylor! This is between me and me! I want to enter Emma in a baby beauty pageant. Oh my god, that's the creepiest thing I've ever heard. My friend Suzanne is entering her kid, and compared to Emma, she's a real dog. Okay, do not tell Ross. He still believes what's on the inside is important. Oh, and Emma needs a cowgirl outfit. Where am I gonna get a cowgirl outfit on Thanksgiving? I was thinking... Take the clothes off Joey's Cabbage Patch Kid? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> babies in the tri-state area are in this room right now. They don't hold a candle to Emma. All right, let's give these babies something to cry about. Chandler and Joey got tickets to a Rangers game, promised they'd be back in time for dinner, but get back 45 minutes late. We figured we could be late because you guys were going to be on time. What's with the trophy? We were at a trophy. spelling bee. And I won! Grand Supreme, Little Darling, New York. That's me. You entered Emma in a beauty pageant? Where have I seen that cowgirl outfit before? <laughs> uh, where have you? Brussels sprouts. Stinky. Uh, please let me stay on this side of the door. I still have my old key. There we go. Yeah. Just <laughs> oh. <laughs> It all looks so beautiful. Hey, listen, guys, we feel really terrible. He's doing that eye contact thing. Don't look at him. We're very, very sorry. Right, guys? I feel terrible. No, no. Sorry. Really <laughs> sorry. Really, really sorry. 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 They you need to feel pretty bad. You worked so hard. Let's move past this and try to have a nice time together, all right? The floating heads do have a point. They seem to feel really bad. So bad. So, so bad. So bad. So, so I repent. Bad. I repent. We feel bad. Okay, um, just go get the dessert and I'll let you in. Y you remember the pies, right? Pies? I thought you said prize. Prize? Grand Supreme Little Darling? Congratulations! You forced me to make dinner? You're an hour late and you forget the one thing I asked you to do! Really, girls, not cool. You manheads! 
lied about going to the game. You knew it would make you late, and you still went anyway. Come on, you guys. Let's just do our own Thanksgiving. I'm stuck. <laughs> Everyone knows it's for Joey. I'm stuck. This doesn't change anything. Wait. We're going to need to grease the side of his face. We got turkey grease. Ooh, that smells good. All right, I'm gonna pull on the door. You guys push as hard as you can. Push, push, push. Monica, who was that? That was the adoption agency. We're getting a baby! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs>